Hello, this is Pixie the Not Dead. Um, what I've got here is a special mix. It's um, it's an ayahuasca warmers. <laughs> it's the very first first ever produced um, I'm aware of. Basically, I've got the ingredients for ayahuasca, like in a very barky type stuff, and um, I boiled it up, and I just really didn't get much out of it. So what I did is I put um, sodium hydroxide because I thought, well, like, if I break down the actual biological material, then I can make something as a powder. So I did that, and I added some Epsom salts or something like that. I can't remember what exactly what I mixed in there as well. And also, if the plant had any salts in it or anything, that would go into the mix. So it's taken probably about a year to get to this point. Um, originally it was bottled up stuff, substance, and it was still a bit sort of odd, and it's also, it's, um, this has got like a fermented taste to it, it went through a process whereby I basically, um, had it bottled up, and a natural bacteria that breaks down the plant got in there, and so it started to break down the plant. It, it doesn't have a bad effect on like humans at all, because um, if you eat bad meat because your body's because you are meat, um, that will give you an infection or sickness. But if you eat something like a plant and um, bacteria start to break it down, it's less of a problem depending on the the type of bacteria, because if it produces um, it's this byproduct. There might be an issue, and also how much you have of it. That needs to create a certain issue. So, um, so yeah. So I've tried, I tried some of this last night, and um, the effects were. I could feel something in my stomach. To be honest, I thought, oh, here we go. But it wasn't a bad at all. It was, um, it was a positive. To be honest, I felt like I um, <laughs> lost weight when I woke up in the morning. I thought, oh. And my stomach feels actually better. It feels like a soothing sensation, um, which is interesting. You know, it's not like cramps or any problems like that. It's obviously um, has something that would that, that excites your gut bacteria or something like that. So it might be rocket fuel to it. And then I had um, I had a lovely dream, um, and I was looking for my family. But before I woke up. Um, we was in like a place like Tokyo, it was a city, I didn't recognise the city at all, and um, I wanted to sort of run to find him, so I started running, but I thought, oh, I can't run that fast, and then suddenly I realised, well you can run as fast as you want, it was like, um, I could change the matrix a bit, so I just, I was running around like I was um, a teenager, sort of uh, bounding about, so that was quite an interesting experience, maybe I was there, who knows, but this is definitely from this stuff, um, what you do, like any almost, is you put it under your tongue, and um, you'll feel like, well, for myself, I tend to have, um, what you get, like shivers, you get a sensation, it goes up into your, into your scalp, into your cranium, so it's like, ooh, <laughs> it's all like, you know, kind of a buzz, um, and it's kind of like the brain chemistry, so it's like a caffeine high, um, so I get that, I get this from that sort of stuff, so I'd only a little bit, I'm, just put it under your tongue, on your tongue for a little bit, hold it there for a while, and then swallow it. The current taste of this stuff, it tastes, um, it's got a texture like coffee, and um, we've got these little chunks of almost formed in there as well, so I added some extra almost in there. And it's got um, a fermented flavour to it, it's, it's a bit unusual. So I might add something else in there, I haven't yet decided, because there's a little gap, I'll give it a show me, there's a little gap at the top, this doesn't fully fit the bottle, let's see if I can show you where, so there's a little gap at the top, so I might put something else in there, um, maybe cocoa powder, or something, something, um, that might try to work with the flavour. I'll probably need to take a bit out and mix it a lot either with ginger, ginger powder, taste that, does it taste nice? 
you know, and then I could just shake it, shake it, shake the mixture together, and voila. But it's not something um, I can reproduce in a, in a hurry because you'd need to get all the ingredients. Um, like I say, put them into this thing, and it's like chucking something up out of acid, but except it's alkaline, and then you're just waiting for it to break it down, make it all sort of. Um, so basically, you can grind it down as much as you can before you start the process, even better. And then just let this break down the, the chemicals further. Now, most of these plants have what they call alkaloids in them, which are alkaline. So if you use an alkaline to break them down, you're not going to be destroying the alkaloids. <laughs> you see? So, um, but acid, acid obviously has a different effect on different things. When it went through the, fer the fermentation stage, its alkaloids would have got converted into some sort of uh, acid state. And now it's back because it's um, oxidised, it's changed back into its a different state now. I did, I think, actually, I might have put something um, to neutralise it. Well, I had the extra warmers that would as well. Um, so, yeah, so it's fascinating stuff. Um, it also opens up research for the future. So if I grow some my medicine plants, I may actually get a load of them and then through the process of um, sodium hydroxide, break them down into a powder. The sodium hydroxide eventually turns into um, a sodium bicarbonate because it's certainly the hydrogen that makes it makes it a sort of um, gives it that aggressive side of it, destructive side um, of sort of breaking down things. But when you've got um, a carbon or an oxide, it's not going to have the same issue. Our bodies love oxide, so if you put an oxide in us, that's great. Um, carbon, bit of a mixture, because other things love carbon more than us. So, some gut bacteria, or if you've got things that are in you, um, that can feed off it quicker than us, they might just sort of flourish quite quickly in your guts. Um, so yeah, so... So yeah, I think I'll flog this on my on my stall. <laughs> so, um, so definitely. Um, I wonder if I should go through some other stuff. If by magic they reappear, it's probably in reverse. But it's um, morning glory, so these are quite cheap to pick pick up. Um, they grow like crazy, but they also the seeds have, have got LSA in them. So if you grow grow it out of these, harvest the seeds, then you can use them for other things. They are a pretty flower as well. I don't know about the other qualities of the plant. Like I might be able to say, make a potion like that, but I don't want to make something that's a poison. Um, but if I make something very mild, it will have the effect of giving someone a bit of a bit of a sort of um, a trip or something. So you, if you get it right, it's fine. But it's those chemicals that cause things like seizures and so on. You don't do that. Because what what happen is they go for an experience whereby they under the influence they feel sick and um, they probably feel like they're having some sort of nightmare. So you don't want, you don't want something like that. You want to create something that's a bit more mellow if possible. It could be that you put add another chemical that neutralizes that effect, or it's a lot lower. So it, I, it's something I look at and do some experiment experimenting on. Um, but if it's more powerful, you definitely got to be uh, you've got to be on the ball. And the only way you could do it is a bit of a, if you're a bit of an alchemist, is that you need to sample it yourself. So you only need a very small amount and then just see what happens. Um, and then do your research, obviously, before doing that. Because you don't want to eat something that says, well, basically it's got cyanide and it can actually kill you. It's a little bit too late once you've eaten it. Um, and then also, like, look at the other things. If it did have a nasty effect, what's the counter effect for it? It's a bit like um, if I'm burning myself with alkaline. Um, I can always put vinegar on it or or something like that and neutralise that. So it's knowing what you can do to resolve it. 